Hey everyone, today's video we are going to be looking at the two disturbances in the Atlantic. We're also going to be looking at the remnants of Ida and Tropical Depression Kate. Now before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Here's a five day graphical tropical weather look from the National National Hurricane Center. As you can see, we have the remnants of Ida now with max sustained winds of 25 knots or 30 miles per hour. A minimum central pressure of 996 millibars located at 35.0 north, 87.8 west, and move is northeast at 13 knots or 15 miles per hour. We have tropical depression Kate as of 11, 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Uh, it has maximum sustained winds of 30 knots or 35 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 1,007 millibars, located at 23.5 north, 50.8 west, and movements north at 4 knots or 5 miles per hour. That is expected to pretty much weaken uh, from here on out. You have disturbance 2 out in the Caribbean right now, still a 20% chance of a cyclone formation in 5 days. Right now, it's still not expected to quite develop, uh, but still something to definitely watch here in the Caribbean as you can see we have uh, also disturbance one in the Atlantic the uh, yellow disturbance was actually disturbance two but this is the disturbance one both through 40 hours and five days we have 90% chance of a cyclone formation in five days as you can see in that kind of cone we have this heading westward or kind of west northwestward at, towards the Caribbean now it is expected to make a northward turn kind of like that however there are now in symbols that do bring it more westward and possibly into the east coast so we're really gonna have to watch this uh, to see what this actually does I am expecting to make this more of a northward turn kind of this direction uh, more of towards the Canada region um, but this is by the time it reaches kind of this already it is going to be headed more eastward towards europe so this doesn't have any threat to land right now however we're really going to have to watch this to see what this actually does throughout the next week or so ida is actually now back to a tropical depression in the middle of me making this video just updated we have now tropical depression ida it was remnants of ida but now it is Tropical Depression Ida. That's pretty much the only threat we have right now with Tropical Depression Ida. Tropical Depression Kate, like I said, has no threat to land right now. Um, it is going to be headed way east of Bermuda. It is expected to maintain a Tropical Depression strength until it gets around this area. It should be uh, getting into more of the post-tropical and remnants of Kate. It's not going to really have much ingredients to live off of as it heads northward. Let's look at the satellite imagery for Invest 90L just off the coast of West Africa. As you can see, we have a lot of convection exploding right now. You could definitely see some of that circulation within these more lower clouds. You definitely see a lot of that circulation. That uh, main circulation, we can't really see yet. And that's why the National Hurricane Center hasn't really named it yet as a tropical depression. Um, but as you can see, we can definitely see some circulation wrapping around that center. So that center is going to be right somewhere in here, right where that ex uh, convection is actually exploding. And that convection, once it wraps around the center, they may actually name it. Once they can really see that well-defined center of the storm, then they will name it as a tropical depression. But we are definitely seeing a lot of convection, especially in the northern part of the storm, possibly even the center part of the storm. And as you can tell, we have some con we also have some convection wrapping around uh, that type of area. So that center is going to be somewhere in here. As you can see, we are seeing some of those outer bands around here. You're seeing the most convection in uh, the more no central part of the storm. So we can tell uh, that it's somewhere in here. And uh, once it becomes more organized, we should see a tropical depression. But as of right now, it's not looking like they're going to name it for another 12 hours or so. Or possibly even 6 hours. So we'll wait till this evening and see uh, what it looks like. And if it still looks kind of like this, then uh, they probably won't name it until tomorrow. But definitely stay tuned. Here's the current spaghetti models. As you can see, there's South America right here. Just a little bit of the edge of South America. And it is making pretty close uh, to the Caribbean, which is a little bit concerning. As you can see, some of these are pretty low here. And that will possibly bring it into the U.S. We have the HWFI and the UKX2. Uh, even the code tie brings it very low 
into the Caribbean. So uh, that'll be in the more northern Caribbean if it does go into the Caribbean and possibly into kind of Florida, Georgia, uh, the Carolinas possibly. Um, but then again, we have a lot of these that are going north. So these are definitely bringing a big potential to bring this into the Caribbean. Uh, so again, stay tuned for more updates on this. This is going to be a very interesting system. We have uh, more GFS and symbols coming out, and this is bringing it more into a fish storm type situation. As you can see, 979 millibars. That's about a Category 1, Category 2 hurricane. So definitely, this could be a pretty strong storm. Um, if, it, if it will be a fish storm, it's going to be a pretty strong storm. But if it does bring it into the Caribbean, I would expect it to uh, possibly be Category 1, Category 2. Um, but we could see definitely a major hurricane if this was a if this is going to be a fish storm. GPS and symbols it brings it uh, pretty close uh, to the Lesser Antilles. As you can see, here's the Lesser Antilles right there, and then that's pretty much around less than 1,000 miles away. So that's definitely decently close. It's not super close, um, but as you can see, some of these are bringing it very close here and especially these and symbols that do bring it towards the u.s instead of kind of kind of curving north most of these are curving north and we have actually have some that are going even more north from there but we do have a lot of these that are staying westward and then slowly curving north not super right away but definitely pretty gradual uh turning of that north and it does have a much of a weaker storm more of a tropical storm maybe low end category one hurricane so definitely again make sure you stay tuned for updates we could look at the intensity guidance lastly as you can see this definitely does bring it to a tropical storm strength and a lot of these bring it to a category one a lot of them bring it to a category two and actually some of them do bring it to a category three one even brings it to a category four hurricane so It'll definitely be a pretty interesting storm. It could actually do a Teddy type situation from last year where it mainly stayed out in the Atlantic, but was a pretty strong storm, a very large storm that Teddy was last year. So it definitely could do one of those situations or this could definitely bring a threat to the U.S. So it's definitely still something to watch, something concerning to definitely keep an eye on. But if you did enjoy the update on Invest 90L and the rest of the and the rest of the disturbances be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want a latest update on the tropics but anyways stay safe